the it, it is the landmark. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the landmark. The Anterior Commission. But here, can you see that? Yes. It's always seen. It's like a mustache. Uh, it's very thick. So it's not here. So, sir, can you go to that? Actually, this white map right here. It's a really discolored thing right now. This is the Anterior Commission. And just near that is the base of the Universe of Mainer. It's actually the very floor of the frontal lobes. It's right above your straight jaw, right? So, Central Nuclei, the foreign says, because the, the hippocampus wants to go there. So, the hippocampus connects with the Central Nuclei and uh, the nucleus of the Okay, so. Anytime you see hypothalamus, that's already in the middle of the brain. Because that's around the area where you see the foramen of Monroe going down to the third ventricle. Sir, where is the hypothalamus? The hypothalamus is anything below the thalamus. <laughs> Anytime you see malar bodies, that's hypothalamus actually. Yet they like to call it a different part because it stands out, but it is actually part of the hypothalamus. Okay. Okay. So this this patient had a stroke in this area here. Because if you compare, if you touch it, this part this is very soft. It's like it's going to disintegrate if you press anymore. So unfortunately, this is the supplied by the middle cerebral arteries. The ventricular target arteries when you treat here. Very prone to slopes. So, it is always in this area, these two slices, we would like to point out the internal capsule, the insular cortex. So, between this and this, this is the. So this is the internal capsule going back into the cerebral peduncles here. So this area where you start to see the thymen, which is darker, and a paler globus pallidus. And even paler than the globus pallidus is white matter going down into the internal capsule. And then the gray matter again alongside the lateral ventricles, which is recorded. So these are some velocity with the cornices stuck underneath the ventricles. <clears throat> so, hypothalamus, because you have mammary bodies there. You see the beginnings of the hippocampus here compared to here where it's amygdala. Mm -hmm. So, you see the difference. So, it wrinkles here versus here, it's just gray. So, between this face and this face, this is posterior because you have been raised It's an exterior. Between this face and this face, this is anterior because here you have an optic chasm. Right? Oh. Mm. Optic chasm goes into your diencephalon, which is hypothalamus. So it's been cut. It's there in front because it wants to go here, the thalamus behind the lateral geniculate bodies. Very close to the midbrain here. So there's that stroke again. And you have this, this tumors. rounded tumors here. So, are benign tumors. So, here you see blood vessels. So, this is temporal, this is frontal, this is silicate fissure. You'd expect to find the middle cerebral artery inside the silicate fissure. It's always found inside. Okay. It comes from below, it's here at the bottom. So, this is your IC. Your MCA goes inside, your ACA joins with another part of it. Just you can see here this ACA. So they're found close to optic nerve and oculomotor nerve, which comes from the back of the midbrain. So this part is two and three are near the ICA here. So ICA gives your ophthalmic arteries, your eyeballs. Okay. So your ACA continues on a journey. Still, they'll follow the shape of the corpus callosum into 
up here. white matter here. Where is all the white matter? It's the center of semi valley. Semi-ovale. semi Which becomes your corona radiata when there are already natural ventricles. So this part is corona radiata. And when corona radiata becomes internal capsule. Which becomes free of the doctors here. Which goes to your brain stem. So let's fix the brainstorm. 